Dear students, welcome you all to Revampage YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see about the uh, CLAD 2025, uh, those who are willing to uh, per pursue their uh, law courses, bachelor's or else in master's. If you are uh, 12th standard and going to appear for the public examination, then you should not miss the deadline. Uh, let's search CLAD 2025 in uh, Google and you will get the first link, then open it. And you can see that the register option that is for uh, new candidates if you haven't registered yet. Uh, before going into this video fully, uh, we have to look at the important dates. So you can see that the important events, uh, the application is already open. The last date to uh, fill the application form is 15th October. So before 15th October, you have to fill that form and you have a exam schedule date also there and 1st December 2024 the CLAT examination for uh, LLB or LLM will be taking place so if you are targeting for uh, 2025 to 2026 academic year through CLAT then you should register for it there are uh, 25 national law university across India which is offering uh, the UG and PG courses the common law admission test CLAT is now uh, been out by many other universities as well. Recently, the uh, Rajendra Prasad Nation Law University Prayagraj also joined in the National Law Universities uh, Consortium. So you can uh, see that as well. Uh, let's see uh, what is there for undergraduation. So the eligibility. You can see that uh, 45 percentage marks. Uh, it's equivalent in grade or 40% for marks equivalent in case of candidates belongs to the scheduled caste, scheduled tribe and person with disability category. So this is a uh, eligibility and then you can uh, see that uh, the second point candidates appearing for the qualifying examination in March or April 2025 are eligible to apply. However, they shall be required to produce a evidence of their passing the qualifying examination which means before going to appear for your 12th examination you will be applying for CLAT examination and you will be appearing for CLAT examination but however if you get admission into any national law university then you have to prove that you have passed the 12th uh, the, by providing a certificate okay uh, if more than one candidate secures an equal number of marks in the CLAT 2025 the break of shall be by the following procedure and order as under so it's based on higher marks in the component or section on legal aptitude so it is necessary that you have to prepare well for the legal aptitude and uh, higher age and uh, computerized draws of lots so these are the methods and you can see that the post graduation eligibility so if you are applying for LLM then you have to get a minimum 50 percentage mark in your LLB. So that is the first first one uh, eligibility criteria. And for uh, candidate belongs to shuttle car, shuttle tribe, person with disability have to at least uh, get 45 percentage. Uh, for uh, a general category, OBC, uh, non layer, it is uh, no, uh, NRI, non-residential Indians, it is uh, at least 50 percentage. So candidates appearing for the qualifying examination in April or May 2025 are also eligible to apply. But again, as we said it for the UG as well, here also they have to prove the qualification which they qualified in the examination. Okay. And uh, you can see that the question paper format for UG. So for CLAT UG, uh, the question paper format is here. You can see that uh, maximum mark is 120. And the examination duration is two hours. So if you divide then 60 marks, 60 marks, one hour, 60 marks. Uh, so it is all our MCQs, multiple choice questions. Okay. So 120 questions of one mark each. Okay. And then there is a negative marking. If you are giving a wrong answer, then there is a 0 0.25 mark for each wrong answer. Okay. And uh, there are uh, several components. You can see that the subject domains. So it is English language, current affairs, including general knowledge, legal reasoning, logical reasoning, quantitative techniques. So this you have to prepare. This is the syllabus. Okay. So similarly, let's see for the masters as well. So for masters also, it is 120 and you can see that the examination is two over. Similarly, 120 questions, one mark each and you have a syllabus here. It is 
constitutional law and other areas of law such so there are multiple law uh, categories or there which you can uh, cover it in the entire syllabus you might have studied the same in your bachelor's degree for, for example uh, here you can see that the uh, environmental law company law this might be very specific but other laws are general in way and there is a negative marking it is also 0 0.25 mark okay so you have to be very careful that you are giving a right answers okay so and here comes the uh, participating universities you can see that all the uh, national law universities across india uh, which is mostly union government funded you can see that uh, there are uh, nearly 24 okay so again coming here then you can uh, if you have already registered then please log in and uh, by using your mobile number and password uh, complete the application before 15th of October otherwise you, now if you are watching this video and you want to register then click to register and just uh, fill it and then uh, you have to activate it through OTP you will receive a OTP for mobile and email as well it is well secure so uh, if you are uh, dreaming of pursuing your LLB in any national law universities uh, please do apply now only don't miss this chance then again you have to wait for some time for the next cycle to happen so it is necessary to apply now only and those who are willing to go for their LLM also it is a right time for you all thank you